and welcome once again to another fantastic atomic tutorial my name is dr wasabi and today we are making the cargo bot from fallout 76 this is just an amazing design it is a unmanned robot essentially uh, used to transport cargo and things like that in very kind of um hazardous scenarios like mountains snow those kind of things uh, so that's what we're going to be building it's quite a small build but it's very versatile you can basically put it anywhere because it is an aerial kind of vehicle so that is what we are going to be making today, the cargo bot from Fallout 76. For this build, you will need the following blocks. It is quite a medium list, I'd say, but you don't need to get much of them. Um, that's the, the upside, in my opinion. You will need andesite walls, polished deep slate walls, stone brick walls, light gray shulker boxes, stone, polished andesite stairs, polished andesite slabs, dispensers, acacia trap doors, Iron bars, grindstones, iron trapdoors, smooth stone slabs, and grey carpet. Now those are blocks you will need, however, at the end I will show you the different variations that you can make of this build. So, well, <laughs> without further ado, let's get on with our time lapse.
and we are back from our time lapse now before i show you anything folks anything at all i just want to say if you do like what i do if you like my content then please like this video and subscribe to my channel doing so it helps me spread my channel amongst the blessed youtube algorithm and of course this helps uh spread my content to you amazing just fantastic people now let's see what we've done here overall not bad this was quite a small compact design but i'm really enjoying how i got um most of the details in without sacrificing um the size itself it's around the same size which is one of what i wanted to um achieve here i don't want to make it too big uh you see so we've got all the details here we've got the turbines uh, which interestingly look like eyes that was a um Quite a specific detail I kind of picked out from the uh, reference images uh, that I took in the game itself. Uh, we have these wonderful little uh, twin thrusters, which is how it's able to move. It kind of like floats around, um, just holding cargo. And speaking of cargo, this is the actual, well, cargo. <laughs> so what I've done here is I've used some light grey shulkers and some smooth stone slabs, just to give it a generic kind of sense that it's storing some some files or, or cargo, some safes maybe or something like that. Um, if we go to the rear, a uh, bit bit of a different design. A lot of this is kind of curved metal, um, so I just used some uh, simple polished down site. And uh, yeah, it came out pretty well in my opinion. It, we've got a lovely industrial design with the acacia trap doors, which is always a favorite um, in my opinion. So yes, that is the tutorial, but fortunately I have a bit of extra content for you folks. I decided, because this has so many variations in game, that I actually did different paint schemes that you can try out. So if we go over here, so this is what I would say is the factory default um, of the model itself. Like fresh out of the factory, it hasn't been painted, no one's using it. Um, so it's essentially the same as the one we've built over here. And this is how it looks without the cargo. So maybe you don't want to have anything on it. That is completely fine. You just need to remove um, the, essentially anything below these kind of staircases here. So the the, um, the stone brick walls, the, the the fences, anything over here, you can just remove if you don't want to. And that is, well, that's the beauty of, of building. You can personalize it to your needs. So if we go over here, this is a US Army paint scheme. We've got some lovely uh, green terracotta, green copper, and wax weathered co copper give us really good weathered effect. And if you are going to give it some cargo, now I've made a lovely looking military package. You got it's got the, the the signature green and the copper, giving it a very nice look. It's very different from the, the kind of ramshackle uh, bits and bobs that's carrying over there. Is this one's carrying a full singular package? You know, it could be documents, it could be whatever you want, folks. And of course, this is the variant without it. If we go over here, uh, I think this is the third variation. Um, this is a Arctus Farmer variant. This is the company in Fallout 76. It's a pharmaceutical company, I believe, and they have their own variant, which is kind of cool. Um, so we got ourselves some prismarine bricks, um, smooth quartz, and some waxed oxidized copper. Very sterile um, color palette, very pleasing, almost like toothpaste, almost, um, if that makes sense. So yes, that is the kind of overall color palette. Um, very similar package to the US Army variant, but I've just changed up the colors so it's more fitting with the overall color style. And this is the variant without it. Uh, again, this is to show you the different variations and things you can do. And the final thing, which is one of my favorites, is the recon variant. This is for um, stealth missions. It doesn't carry any cargo, but what it does do is it kind of snoops around, takes pictures, like reconnaissance missions, all that good stuff. I believe it is part of the Enclave kind of um, color uh, scheme, but I may be wrong on that, so don't take my word as gospel. So it, almost everything is either polished deep slate or um, or polished blackstone, and of course we got some lovely grey carpet as a uh, kind of secondary color. So yeah, that is all of the variations that you could, well, I could possibly do. Again, you could use your creativity. If you want to do different paint schemes, then go on ahead. There's the, the beauty of Minecraft after all. So there you have it, folks, the cargo bot from Fallout 76. I want to thank you so much for watching this tutorial. It just melts my heart knowing that you come along to watch my stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you. My name has been Dr. Wasabi. I want to wish you a very good evening. And of course, as always, God bless. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. 
We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs>